Y'all ever notice it's a it's a church on every corner? Right. The church look good, but the hoods look jacked up. Right. That's facts. Remember, we got to change. We got to do better for the community. This is why it's very important. And they pushing stuff out on the medias, on the platforms. Y'all see what's going on today. They trying to take y'all minds off of it, keep your minds on Diddy. Right. We don't even know what's going on around the world. Right. They bombing over there, and it's gonna be a World War Three. What the hell is Jewish? Who made up that term? It sound like fraud. Y'all a bunch of Frank Abic nails. I'm pulling cards. I full of y'all. Your whole story done here. Kill yourself and rot with your six mil. You done here. A real Jew like Adolf, you not. Y'all remember one thing, because he brought out something heavy. This is your mom. Remember one thing, because she not going to always be here. Right out. Then what? You know what I'm saying? So make sure you honor. My thing is, the problem, one thing, mom, uh, everyone else, the problem is, we don't understand. Let me ask you this. What Christ looks like? What's that? Brian? You say the same? What Christ? Who is this right here? I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Right? Some painter, painter giving John 738. Watch this. I'm going to show y'all something because y'all are absolutely right. But see what happens, we know Christ is black, but guess what? We coon him. We still following this. We still following this. So what does it does it result in it? Don't result in nothing. Right? Watch this. Read that. John chapter 7 and verse 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So how does belly shall flow rivers of living water? Meaning you looking for eternal life. Right. Because the only way you get there is through him, the black right. Messiah. That's right. Now watch this, Revelation 1 and 1. Bring it out. I'm going to share something with y'all. This is very important before you even just have this thought in. Because John the Revelator, they was persecuting him. They had him on the island of Patmos. And he was locked up. He didn't even do nothing. He, They had him on the island. But watch this. This is what was going on. He was fasting. He was praying. Watch what happened. Read. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So revelation means to reveal. This is it to reveal what Christ looked like. Because if somebody break in your house, right, and the police didn't see him, and they get there, what the first thing they go going to ask you? How he look? Right. And you, you describing him, police shouldn't tell you, oh, it don't matter how he look. Oh, now nah, I'm going to make up my own description how he looks. Bring it You'll out. never find it. Bring it out. It's the same thing here. Right? Jump to verse 10. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. So John the Revelator was in the spirit. When it say he's in the spirit, what is this talking about? You know? When he in the spirit, that means he's no more like in the flesh no more. He's not in the physical no more. If he's in the spirit... Then he's in the spiritual realm. So watch this. We go show you. Remember, we go show, and it's good. I'm glad that. But we go show you what the spirit is according to the Bible. Bring it up. John six sixty three. Because it's so important that we got to make sure we continue to see. Because what they teaching us in the Christian church, they ain't teaching us nothing. They teaching our children how to shoot each other down in the street. Y'all ever notice it's a it's a church on every corner. Right. The church look good, but the hoods look jacked up. Right. That's facts. Read that. John chapter 6 and verse 63. Bring it out. It is the spirit that quickens. It, it says it is the spirit that quickens. Quicken means to change. Right. That's what the altar was just bringing out. We got to change. Right. That's how we know we in the spirit. Read. The flesh profited nothing. The flesh profited nothing. Meaning the, the corner thoughts, the eyes, and the it profited nothing. Because what we see, we may think is all good. But if you're not going off the... Watch, it go tell you. Read. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So the words of God is the spirit. Right. So what the pastor talking about? All that down. That ain't the spirit, the words. What words? What words is he talking about? Give me Proverbs 7 and 2. 
Bring it up. You can drop that for whole revelation. Proverbs 7 and 2. What? Watch this, 7 and 1. Watch this, though. Because we're going to show you what the words is talking about. Good. What's that spirit we fit to show you? Read. Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 1. Read it up. My son, keep my words. He said, my son, keep my words. Read. And lay up my commandments with thee. And lay up what? My commandments with thee. So you got to understand one thing. When you're in the spirit, you keep the commandments of God. Read. Keep my commandments and live. Keep the commandments and live. What is some of the commandments? Give me a commandment. You know a commandment? Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not kill. That's the 10, right? But you know, it's other commandments he gave us, right? I'm going to show y'all before we get back to that Deuteronomy 22 and 5. I'm going to show y'all something because, remember, we got to change. We got to do better for the community. This is why it's very important. And they pushing stuff out on the medias, on the platforms. Y'all see what's going on today. They trying to take y'all minds off of and keep your minds on Diddy. Right. We don't even know what's going on around the world. Right. Why? They say push the Diddy stuff. Push all that so everybody can click on these YouTube channels and hear all the gossip. But they bombing over there, and it's going to be a World War III. But we don't know what's going on. We just walking around talking about, you heard what Diddy said? Bring it out. And they in the background going, bomb them over there. What's a woman's garment? What's a woman's garment? Bring it out. Garment is a as an outfit. Huh? Uh huh. What's a woman's garment? A what? A Give me. It could be a bra, a dress, heels. A, a dress. A dress. Right? Cause you gotta look at it. Read that bottom. I read that uh, bottom part again. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. If you look around, look at Tyler Perry. What he got on? A woman's garment. A woman's garment. Look at Young Thug. What he got on? Bring it out. All these rappers, they pushing it on our young men. Right. Say, hey, yeah, where does this purse come from? A, a man's purse? I ain't never heard of that in my life. Painting fingernails. Painting fingernails. All that there. We should not be doing that as men. Watch this. Read the top part, though. Notice our men say, you know what? You right. We ain't supposed to be wearing no, no dress. You know. Now watch this. Read that top part. No woman should not wear that which pertains unto a man. So it said a woman should not wear that pertains to a man. What is it that a woman shouldn't be wearing that men wear? Pants! Pants! You see what's going on? Because how, uh, let me tell you how they, how they do us bad. When you go to Walmart, right? And you want to go into the restroom, right? And they don't have the words on there. How you know which restroom to go into? By the description. By the description of the dress. But wait a minute. Soon as we leave out of, we, they done just messed us up. Because think about it. Give me First Timothy 2 and 9. This is why it's so important because we get it. Well, Y'all okay. But normally it's our sisters that fight against this. That's right. They fight against this. The men be like, you know what? You're right. We ain't supposed to be wearing no dress. We don't have no kind of a problem. But soon as we get into our side, what's wrong? You got to think about it. They got a zip in the front. What they pulling out? Right. What are they pulling out? Do you see what I'm saying? That's the difference. But watch this. Read that. First Timothy 
chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also, the women are doing themselves in modest apparel. Because even a tight skirt ain't going to get it. I got all the dress. You go to the church right now, I figured I'm going to the club. Right. Y'all never went to the church and they, they look, it looked like a club. I'm like, golly, that looked like the same outfit they had on at the... I'm just keeping it 100. God is not happy right now Bring it out. with that. So it's very important. We got to change. It's the same thing. Um, Because this your wife, right? And you, you, know, you know how men... Listen, you know how men is when our... Your sons... They ain't gonna like it with no man. Hey, psh, hey, hey, sit, hey, psh. y'all don't like that, huh? No. So we gotta make sure we don't even put them in the place of that. You see what I'm saying? That's why it's so important. Bring it on. That we have to come back to our heritage. Right. Our women always wear dresses. Our men always dress. So what is it to be a man? Do you know? What is it to be a man? What did God say? How do I become a man? Wake him up! Huh? Provide. Yeah, what? Provide. Provide. Okay, I do like that. I do like that. Come as you are. Come as you are? Come as you are. It says in the Bible, right? Uh-uh, that's not in the Bible. That's the Christianity Church. Christianity Church say come as you are so you can leave as you were. Watch this. So... Watch this. So we just read, watch, we just read that women should not wear pants, right? What they wear in the church. So that man say, come as you are. Is he really fighting for God? You know, you know. People got wigs on. Right. That ain't, that don't make it right just because they doing it. Uh, what makes you a man? Um, the what now? Survival. Survival. Okay, okay, okay. Watch this though. Watch this. First Kings chapter two and verse two. Bring it out. I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. So this is King David. He was getting ready to die. He was getting ready to pass away. He was talking to Solomon, King Solomon, which was his son, and he was telling him, "Hey, go your way and show yourself a man." King Solomon, like. I was a man. Like, what's, what's going on? I mean, that's natural. No. Watch this. Read. And show thyself a man. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. We supposed to keep the charge of the Lord thy God. Right. Meaning you going to fight for every way he say. That's what Christ did. Right. Forget what a man say. Right. I'm going to see what the Bible say. Bring it out. You know, that's how you go. going to know. Read. To walk. In his ways. To walk in his ways. Why? Because we ain't walking in his ways today. Right. All that Isaiah. Notice, I'm bringing everything to back out what I'm saying. Right. The pastor don't do that. Bring he it out. One scripture, shut the book and say, What well, I've done in Mississippi. Ah, back in Mississippi, I was a little boy. Nobody don't care about that. We want to know about God. That's yes, right. right. Watch this. Bring it out. Five and eight. Read that. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 8. Bring it For my thoughts are not your thoughts. God said his thoughts is not your thoughts. Read. Neither are your ways my ways. Neither are your ways his ways. Read. Said the Lord. Said the Lord. All right. <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. Oh, you know